A reused password might not feel like a big security hole until it leads to a state of emergency. Colonial Pipeline is one of the largest oil pipelines in the U.S., moving refined fuel to industry markets from Texas to New Jersey. It made headlines in May 2021 when it became the victim of a ransomware attack by a group identified as Darkseid. This attack infected some of the pipeline's computer systems, forcing the company to shut the pipeline down for several days. This caused gas shortages in some East Coast states, higher prices at the pump, and President Biden to declare a state of emergency. We'll cover the basics of how this ransomware attack happened and steps taken to restart the pipeline. But this isn't the only ransomware attack to happen in 2021. Learn about some other hacks by clicking the link above or in the description below. So, what is a ransomware attack? Ransomware is a type of malware that blocks access to an organization's data or computer systems until a ransom is paid, usually in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a ransom of choice for hackers due to the mistaken belief that the currency cannot be traced. This is the type of attack hackers chose to launch on Colonial Pipeline's computer systems. On May 6, attackers gained access to the Colonial Pipeline network through an exposed VPN password, stealing 100 gigabytes of data that they later threatened to leak onto the internet. During a House committee hearing in June, investigators said a Colonial Pipeline employee likely used this password in another location too, exposing it during a different data breach. On May 7th, the ransomware attack began and the pipeline operations ceased. Attackers demanded a ransom of 75 bitcoins worth $4.4 million, which Colonial Pipeline paid to regain access to their systems. Five days later, on May 12th, Colonial Pipeline restarted operations. On June 7th, a month after Colonial Pipeline paid the ransom, the U.S. Department of Justice recovered most of it, 63.7 bitcoins worth $2.3 million. Is your organization revisiting policies and procedures to minimize the risk of a ransomware attack? Why or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button too.